Hey guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my little kitchen. Today's recipe is straight out of my mum's kitchen to you guys. I'm going to share with you her recipe for fish curry, one of the most tastiest curries ever. Simple ingredients, simple cooking, nothing fancy and a fantastic product at the end. So let's run through what we need to make my mum's fish curry and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need is approximately one kg of fish. I'm using cod here. You can use haddock if you wish, that's entirely up to you. Now I've cut it into sort of like big pieces as you can see. I've got here two large onions which I finely sliced. I've got three tomatoes which I've roughly chopped up. I've got half a cup of oil and I have the following spices. I've got two teaspoons of salt, coriander powder, diggy milch, regular chilli powder and I've got one teaspoon of turmeric powder here. I've got half a tablespoon of garam masala. I've got a frozen piece of ginger and garlic here. Now if you don't have these you can substitute that with a tablespoon of the uh, paste or puree. I've got half a lemon here. I've got two green chilies which I've sliced. These are optional but they do add a nice colour and flavour to the curry. I've also got some fresh coriander to garnish right at the end so let's start cooking. Right okay so first of all get yourself a pot which is big enough to be able to hold your fish and you want something that's flat and shallow like this and I'm going to go straight in with the oil and just give that a couple of minutes just to heat up nicely. And when your oil's nice and hot then straight in with your onions and we're going to fry these for about eight to ten minutes until they're golden brown in colour. So my heat setting is on an eight and that is a high heat setting and I'm just going to lower it down to a seven which is a, a medium heat setting and I'm going to fry the onions now and I'll show you how they look once they're done. Right okay so this is how the onions look once they're cooked. And all we're going to do to this now is we're just going to go straight in with our tomatoes. Our ginger and garlic. Just give that a mix. Like that. Add a little bit of water in, around maybe half a cup of water in there. And we're going to cook this for about... 10 to 15 minutes until the tomatoes and the onions are really nice and soft and then we're going to start the bunning process. So I'm going to wait for this to come up to the simmer and then I'll put the lid on and then uh, allow it to cook for 15 minutes and my heat setting is currently on a high at the moment. I'm just waiting for it to come up to heat and then I'll reduce it down to a six which is going to be a medium heat setting. So the temperature down to a six, lid on and I'll see you guys back in 15 minutes. Right okay guys it's been 15 minutes that this has been cooking away so I'm just going to remove the lid to show you and as you can see the onions and the tomatoes have softened up really nicely. Now at this stage what we're going to do is we're going to take all our spices and just throw them in just like that. So once we've added all the spices in we're now going to cook this down. We're going to start the bunning process. Now I know a lot of you ask what the bunning process is. It's basically um, a stage of cooking which develops the flavour of the curry. So because we've added the spices in we're now going to cook this and make it into a really nice thick sort of like masala, a thick gravy ready for when we add our fish in and that's what that is called bunning. So we're going to bun the uh, onions and the tomatoes together in the spices that we've just added and I'm just going to turn my heat setting up a little bit and we're going to do this for about six to eight minutes until all of this beautiful masala breaks down really nicely and I'll show you how it looks. I will be adding little bits of water into this as and when we need to but then continue to cook it with the lid off and um, I'll show you how it looks once it's done. Right okay guys after bunning this now this is how this looks. The masala is nicely broken down you can see. Now I did help the uh, onions and tomatoes a little by pressing down with the spatula as I was cooking along and bunning this so that it sort of like gives it a really nice thick masala. Now we are about to add our fish in. We don't need to add any water and go straight in and just place your pieces of fish in like that. So you can see that they're quite chunky and then I'm going to pop the lid on and we're going to leave this to cook on a medium heat setting which is five for me. 
low to medium heat setting and we're going to let that cook away now for approximately 15 to 20 minutes but I will come back and check on it halfway through because the fish will actually release its natural sort of like moisture and halfway through the cook I'm going to put a timer on now halfway through the cook I'm going to come back have a look at it and I'll show you guys how it looks but in the meantime leave it with the lid on cooking away for 10 minutes do not touch it and I'll see you back in 10 minutes time right okay guys the 10 minute timer has just gone off and this is how the fish looks just pop the lid to the side and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift the pot up and I'm just going to move the fish around like that okay just make sure all of it is nicely covered in that masala like that and that's how you want to be handling the fish when it's cooking away because you don't want to go straight in with a spatula or a spoon because you're going to break all of those gorgeous chunky pieces now at this stage I'm going to throw over my green chilies just like that just so it gives them a little bit of time to cook and also going to go over with my lemon juice just squeeze that right in and over like that just adds a really nice sort of like tang to the curry there we are perfect and again just lift up and just give it a move around like that and then lid back on again and just allow that to cook now again for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes it should be ready and I'll show you how it looks right okay guys so this has been cooking away now for a further 10 minutes so total time 20 minutes and I'm gonna show you how it looks it smells phenomenal now all we're going to do is we're actually gonna leave the lid off and just cook off the little bit of moisture that's left in there so I'm just going to turn my heat setting up to a seven which is a, a highish heat setting uh, medium high and I'm going to allow the water in there to just sort of like cook down and um, sort of like get really nice and thick masala -y. and just keep an eye on it all you need to do is just lift it up and give it the odd shake don't do anything else and that we're going to do until most of the water in there dries off and then we'll finish the dish off and there you have it guys my fish curry is all ready I'm just going to turn my hob off now and we're just going to finish it off and I'm just going to sprinkle over the garam masala just like that and take some fresh coriander and just throw that over as well and just give that one final shake and there you have it guys my wonderful wonderful fish curry fish masala whatever you want to call this is ready I'm gonna tuck into this and tell you exactly how it is so there we have it guys my fish curry is already looking absolutely gorgeous <laughs> smells amazing as well and now I am gonna try this and tell you guys exactly how it is so straight in with a nice piece of fish oh my god it's just gorgeous there we are and you know you can have this with rice you can have it with naan chapatis whatever you fancy but yeah here goes guys look at that mm. look at that oh god gorgeous gorgeous fish Mmm, flaky fish. That fish is absolutely gorgeous. That masala is just, oh my God, slight heat coming through, perfectly spiced. Nice tongue coming through from the lemon that we added, the lemon juice. Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous and just, just so, so good. Just look at that. Whoa. Mmm. fish does not get any better than this try the recipe out guys you're gonna love this one it's my mum's recipe so what's not to love anyway leaving you with this one I hope you've enjoyed it please do give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful 
also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and turn your bell notifications on for all things cooking and I'll catch you soon with a new one. Till then, take care and happy eating.